had the ideal balance between flexibility and strength. Too brittle and a sword is simply going to break the first time you hit something with it. Too soft and it's not going to be able to maintain an edge or do any lasting damage. So also 5160 was a good choice for this competition specifically because it has the toughness and the flexibility that we need. Uh, some higher carbon steels like M95 are good for holding an edge, but it has to be blunt for the competition anyway. So We were trained in knife making to learn the basic skills of forging. After the initial drawing was completed, the horizontal and vertical band saws were used to cut the metal to size. A sledge and a flatter were used in tandem as we worked our way down the blade to form the context of the sword. The sword was routinely inspected for flatness and symmetry. We needed to switch from using the gas forge to the acetylene torch as we pulled back the guard and finished the lower end of the blade. The handle was drawn out using the trip hammer to approximately 10 inches, the desired length of our handle. Our first attempt to polish the blade involved the traditional cold filing technique, but we ultimately decided to use the angle grinder for a nice, clean finish. It starts by heating up the, heating up the blade so that it can have a uniform microstructure, and then the amount of time that it takes to actually quench the sword can allow us to hold that microstructure in place. So going into this, we didn't know anything, but then we learned throughout the whole way how to work with these metals, how the things we learned in class actually apply to this sword strong it is, how good it is, and that's just been an amazing journey for us. Thank <laughs> you.